Hello YouTube and welcome to something that excites me. Really, this is this is a little a little game that I found. It's in heavy development right now. Uh, it's free to play and you can pre-order it for $7. So it's it's practically free. It's it's definitely worth it. Now, as you may or may not know, I am a giant space nut. And this this is exactly what I have been waiting for. Let's get into it. It's um it's a little game called the Kerbal Space Program, and we are going to design a rocket in this building right here. And we're going to use that rocket to fly, hopefully, into orbit, and possibly to the moon, or even this moon. Oh, yes. So, let's get right into it. What you do, it's uh, if you have ever played Spore, that disappointment of a game with that beautiful engine, you will recognize this. This looks a lot like it. And uh, I'm just gonna play. Uh, I haven't played much of it yet, but I do know the basics. So that's interesting. Let's let's give this thing a name. We'll call it the uh, the Waxian Failure Version 1. So it's it's kind of a physics game, but I do believe that it's probably gonna be tied to some kind of a resource game, which I definitely hope and if they don't, then I'm going to make a game similar to this myself because I love it so much. So, these videos are just going to be me trying to accomplish some missions. First mission, get into orbit. So, that's the spaceship that we're going to try to design. We're not going to think about getting to the moon. We're just going to try to get into orbit. And then we'll move from there. So... We've got these uh, these parts here. These are like the engine parts and a fuel tank. We've got these command modules and whatnot. And we have some uh, structural things, which is very cool. We can make multi-stage rockets. And it does work quite well. But the very first thing, very important, we could use a parachute on top of this thing because uh, our poor little astronauts uh, are going to have to land at some point. We have crew and decals. There's nothing yet. Yet, it's in heavy development, very, very much in alpha. Which is why you should buy it now, because it's cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So I always like to make this thing. This is a stack decoupler. This this thing, well, this is a stage, right? Everything above here is one stage, and everything below this is another stage. So I can release that stage, and that will completely free the command pod of everything below. So let's just uh, slap something together. What we need first is some propulsion. I work up to down. Uh, maybe not the best idea, but we'll see. So this is how space flight works, right? First you have your command pod. This is your command module right here. This is where the astronauts are. Then you usually have some smaller propulsion down here. So let's do that. It's a fuel tank. There we go. There are two types of engines. There's these thrusters, liquid fuel engines. They use this. They use the fuel tank. And there's this, the solid fuel booster, which is basically, it's a bottle rocket. You turn it on, and it keeps going until it's all out of fuel. It has a lot of push, but no control. So this is for lifting off, mostly. So let's put a gimbaled liquid fuel engine. Apparently, it has more control because it can rotate the nozzle slightly, ever so slightly. So this is going to be the part, hopefully, that's going to be flying in outer space. Very exciting. This is called the surface surface module. It's the normal name for this, a surface, surface module, command module. Just giving you some terms there. I am no expert by any means, but I am a giant space nut, so I like explaining these things. So another another stage. Stage one, I hope you can see my mouse, otherwise this is all futile. <laughs> stage two, let's go to stage three. I think that we're going to be needing a little more lift, so we're gonna do something exciting. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot. The uh, service module could use another part, an advanced SAS module. Now the SAS is the stability, let's see, Stabi stability augmentation solution or the sickness avoidance solution if you will <laughs> what this thing does it helps me stabilize the rocket when I tell it to it's basically a computer 
because steering this thing with uh, the power of an atomic bomb under its belly is uh, difficult, to say the least. And then uh, another thing that I forgot is I would like one of... Uh, I would like some of these. These are uh, apparently used in the uh, orbit to push the command module around. You know, they're the little jets that you see. But they need a special kind of fuel. They need the RCS fuel tank. That's RCS. That's what those things are called. So put that on there. Put this thing in symmetry mode, which is very interesting. Works well. Uh, where is it? Ah, oh, here we go. And as you can see, it'll put some of these symmetrically on there for me. So bam. So we got four of those guys. Uh, I haven't used them yet, but I'm sure they're going to be useful at some point. So let's see. We got the surface module, which is a big, big old thing. Um, that's going to get us into orbit. I have a silly idea. We have this is a decoupler, right? But there's another type. This one. This one is stuck to the outside of these things. So I'm thinking that I want my final push into the uh, orbit. I want that to be another stage. I want I want some solid fuel boosters. Why not? Let's let's go all out and let's put these babies on here. I don't know what's that's. Yeah, this should be fine. <laughs> so that's a stage, right? This thing is gonna push me into the atmosphere at speeds that only God knows what's gonna happen. Now let's do something. I'm just experimenting. This thing will probably crash on the launch pad, but we'll see. This is like a three-way splitter. Splitter. A splitter. Let's try the English accent. It's so much more classy. Put some fuel tanks under there. Whoops. Let's put it into symmetry mode. Always useful. Ah, let's put some more fuel tanks in there. Why not? Because I need a lot of fuel to get into uh, the atmosphere. So those are pretty big, the engines there. But uh, let's do one more stage. And people that know this game are going, Oh my god, man, what are you doing? You fool! And we'll do the integrity later. Um, and put some more fuel boosters down here. Um, but I don't think that those three are going to be enough to boost me properly. So let's try something unorthodox. That is always a good thing. Uh, yes, we put... Some more up here. See what that does. So now I have to, uh, what I want to happen, and whether this will happen is uh, some a matter of some debate, but I want these three up here and these three down here to fire in the same stage. So let's see where they are. Oh, they're in the same stage. That is good. Somehow this program is very clever in trying to find out what you're trying to do. So th this may actually fly. It may. It probably won't, but um, it may. It may. Let's uh, put some integrity uh, thingamajigs here. Uh, these hold the thing together, which is... Ooh, that seems that didn't work quite well. It's still an alpha. It has some... Uh, some... There we go. That looks... Ah! See what I mean? It tells me that I can, but it can't. Ah, but that, that worked. So let's put some struts here. These things do exactly what you think they do. They hold the whole thing together. And oh, would you look at that? It did it on all sides. Wow, excellent. Wonderful. And uh, just some more down here. Did it do it on all sides? Oh, it did. Wonderful, wonderful. So, we're almost there, guys. All we need is some uh, stylish fins, right? You need fins. Does that interfere? Oh, it most certainly does. Ah, who needs fins? Fins are for the weak. Let's just launch this thing. A little while. It takes a little while. Oh, yes. It's, it's a little laggy in the beginning, but it gets better. See, now it's all smooth. Look at this crazy thing, huh? <laughs> all right. So, this is the launch pad. We have made our missile and we are going to fire it up into the air and hopefully achieve orbit and um, I'm not going to explain all of the details um, you'll just see me do it 
hopefully. We have our three brave astronauts, Bill Kerman, Jebediah Kerman, and Bob Kerman. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Now, take a look at these guys because their expressions will change based on your situation, which is usually an expression of complete and total horror. <laughs> All right, so this here is my throttle right here. You see it going up and down? Excellent. I assume that this is the G-force on my men, but I don't know. And uh, let me press T here to put on to turn on the SAS. It will attempt to stabilize this thing. I will put my thrusters. Those are these thrusters. I can't control the uh, the bottle rocket ones, but as soon as I get control over these, they will be at 80 percent. So I will have to manually separate the stages. That is, if at all we get off the ground. So let's do a countdown. Five, four. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, it flies and it's going up. Excellent. You see the fuel is going down. I'm sorry if this is quite loud, but it will get better soon. There we go. Oh, oh some slight overheating, but it's no problem. We're almost through the first stage. Almost. Separation, go! <laughs> oh, okay, it looks, that was not what I intended. Uh, it looks like the bottle rockets fired. But that is fine, that is fine, why not? Perhaps that was my intention, I don't know. Some slight overheating, but I think it'll be fine. Um, yes, yes, going up. Power to 100%, why not? There we go. Okay, things are quieting down a little bit, huh? It didn't quite fire in the direct and in the way that I had intended, but we are going strong. Some slight overheating, but it looks like it's going to be fine. I'm sorry if this is very loud. It will get more quiet soon. We're at uh, 10 kilometers right now. The atmosphere is getting thinner, and we are getting at about three. We're getting to 300 meters per second. And, uh, if I press M, we can see this here, and we'll use that later to see our trajectory. Do I have any more launches after this? Yes, I most certainly do. I had intended for the bottle rockets to still be available. We might have to tweak that. But we have quite some fuel, quite some fuel left. Let me zoom out a little bit for you guys. It should become a little more quiet. Oh yes, we are flying. Not too shabby for a uh, for a crazy wayward design. We're at almost thirty thousand. We've almost cleared the atmosphere, and soon we will start to do a horizontal burn because uh, one needs to burn horizontally to get into orbit. Obviously, now you could look up the numbers. You could, but that's not the kind of guy that I am. I like to go go with my gut and the Waxian gut is usually correct knock on wood so the fuel is almost gone let's separate this stage BAM that is cool that is very cool okay let's let's gently rotate this thing there we go very gently very gently about on the horizon that looks about good. SAS on, thrust it to 100%, and fire! <laughs> oh, very cool, very cool. And now if we look at our uh, stellar map, we have a moon, by the way. Here it is. You can go there. You can land on it. I can't. And what we see here is our trajectory, right? And you see it's growing. It's very much growing at, at quite some speed, which is good. This is our Apolapsis or apolapsis. It's the highest point in our travel. And hopefully this will expand into a circle. It doesn't look like it will. I don't have enough power. But uh, this uh, was quite an exciting first run, wasn't it? And um, we still have about half a fuel tank left, so let's throttle down to about 50%. I do that because I do want this thing to conserve some fuel and if you burn slow you conserve more fuel 
And because there's no atmosphere anyway, do we don't need much push to get the orbit bigger. In fact, let me just throttle down to about this. See if we can't. Yeah, it's still growing quite quickly. Uh, I don't think we'll make it into orbit. Um, and even if we do, that's all of our engines. Um, although I suppose we still have the RCS to go on. Um, but we'll just separate this stage as soon as we're done. Um, probably because we won't make it into the orbit. But we're darn close, aren't we? I think it was a very successful first try. Very successful. Uh, we'll have to tweak this ship a little bit because the bottle rockets didn't fire in the proper order, which I hold responsible for my situation right now. Oh, we're done. All right, let's turn off the SAS, do something a little cool. Rotation. Separation. Ha ha ha, that is so cool. All right, let's see. Careful now, careful. SAS on. That is good. That is excellent. You see my little astronauts, Bob and Bill, are not liking this. They're in, they're in space, and they are not happy. We are still going up. We're at about 200,000 kilometers. That's high. And as you can see, we did not make orbit, but we got darn close. So where's my little ship? Let's try to, uh, let's try to get these guys home safely. Let's abort. Careful. All right, that looks... Ooh, to, to, to. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can't... Oh, wait a minute. I just dropped my RCS engines, didn't I? Oh, I did. Well, that's a problem. Now I don't have control. <laughs> but it's all right, uh, because as you can see, they will get back to Earth by themselves. So let's warp the time, because this is uh, a slow process. And then uh, they will start returning to Earth. Yeah, uh, coming in slowly, going down, going down, going down, a little more, and it looks like they're over the ocean, so that's good. All right, so normal speed, there we go, let's, let's try to bring this thing into a proper... Oh, that was good. Thank you. And we're at about 2,300 meters per second. Let's try to deploy our parachute, if, if at all possible. There it goes. All right. So that should start slowing us down, hopefully in time. As you can see, our speed is going down, and so are we. At an alarming speed, you see, you see Bill Kerman here. He is, he is not happy. He is not liking this. And the G-force that these guys were under was quite high. I didn't notice the gauge. I don't really pay attention to that thing, but they seem to be fine, and we are slowing down. So let's see if we can't get these astronauts home safely. They did go to a low. They go in. They went into low orbit. Not. They didn't quite make it. But I am proud. Let's turn the SAS off because we don't need that thing anymore. And... Not too shabby, not too shabby. Oh, they're gonna land. I thought they were gonna end up in the ocean, but apparently they're not. It's unfortunate for them. And now at some point I'll have to deploy this thing. I think I have to do it manually by pressing spacebar, like everything else but uh, we'll see we can't do that until we are very close to the earth as I understand it but I don't know in any case they are slowing down they are slowing down and at some point this thing should be able to deploy let me just keep ramming the spacebar holding the spacebar I don't know there we go it's opened and they're slowing down. 13.2 meters per second. Point 0.1. Oh, we're at the dark side of the planet. It's, it's evening over here. That is, that is amusing. Bill is a little traumatized. He <laughs> but he's fine. And Jebediah and Bob are loving it. 
let's see if they can survive this uh, this drop we have here. We're, we're still quite... Our velocity is quite high. Oh, they made it. They made it. They're all... They're all alive. Yay! Congratulations, K Kerman brothers. You have made it. So let's end that flight. So that went pretty well for a first go, I think. Um, let's save our spaceship and, and we will continue this crazy adventure in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. Don't worry, by the way, Minecraft videos and Space Age videos, uh, which is Polyverse to you, are coming.